So I had a question about the root mean square and how to find it. And not so much in this class, but you will perhaps in other classes have to find root mean square of a finite set. And so for a finite set, you have this first formula in the box here. So if I had the set of 1, 0, negative 6, and 4, the root mean square of that would be the square root of 1 over 4, because there are four values, of 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 6 squared plus 4 squared, which would be the square root of 1 plus 36 plus 16 over 4, which is the square root of, I don't know, that would be the square root of 1 plus 36 plus 16 over 4 we get 3.64 so maybe something like that and then that was whatever value I just had there uh, 3.64 Okay, but more often than not, you're going to have to find the root mean square of a function. And so if you had a root mean square of a function over a given interval, say from t1 to t2, then the root mean square of that over that interval is the square root of 1 over the length of that interval, which is t2 minus t1, times the integral from t1 to t2 of the that function squared squared dt um, and that's just over the interval now if you wanted to find it the root mean square of the function over all time, then you take the limit of this as t goes to infinity, and then infinity, not 8, and that would be the square root of 1 over, uh, well, and then you ask, well, what is 2t? Um, it can be anything, really, uh, but we'll come back to this and we'll talk about specifically for a periodic function, but this is saying that you're actually taking the limit as t goes to infinity of the integral from minus t to t of f of t squared dt. Okay, so um, but what if so let's just look at a couple examples. So let's find the root mean square of the function that, let's say it's f of t equals 0 for t less than 1, it equals t for t between 1 and 2, and it equals uh, t squared for t between 2 and 3 and 0 for t greater than 3. So and I want to find the root mean square from 1 to 3. So I'm not really cared about the, don't really care about the parts outside of that. So between 1 and 2, it looks like t, and between 2 and 3, it looks like 
t squared. Uh, say t squared minus two. Just so I can make it continuous. It does not have to be continuous to have a root mean square. I was uncomfortable with it the way it was. Okay, so this would be, according to our definition, of the square root of 1 over t2 minus t2 minus t1 and so in our case this is t2 this is t1 so 3 minus 1 times the integral from 1 to 3 of uh, our function squared So what is our function squared? So our function squared, f of t squared equals 0 for t less than 1 equals t squared for 1 between t and 2 and equals t squared minus 4 squared minus 2, sorry, t squared minus 2 squared for t between 2 and 3 and 0 for t greater than 3. So we have to break this uh, integral up into two parts. This is 1 over 2 times the integral from 1 to 2 of t squared dt plus the integral from 2 to 3 of t squared minus 2 not t squared minus 2 yeah t squared minus 2 squared dt and then you just find that integral uh, I am particularly lazy so, one to two of um, x squared. Thirteen point two. And then we'll just figure that out. So 
to 2.7 or whatever that is. Okay, but what if you have a periodic function? Uh, so I have, let's see, I have my function f of t is the sine of 2t. And I want to find its root mean square uh, from minus infinity to infinity. Well, when you have a periodic function, you can just find it for one period. And so the period for sine 2t, the period is pi. And there's two ways to remember that. So one way is we know that the period of sine of t is 2 pi. And so this 2t is going twice as fast. So its period will be half of what it is for uh, sine of just sine of t. The other way is to you can find the period by taking 2 pi over the coefficient right here, which is pi. So the period here is pi. So, um, and all you have to do to find the root mean square is to find the root mean square over one period. So it will be the square root 1 over pi times the integral from 0 to pi of sine of 2t dt squared. Uh, yeah, I was just looking at the formula and just drawing a blank there for a minute. So, um, this is going to be 1 over pi square root, uh, and then square root integral 0 to pi of sine squared to t dt. In case you did not remember, the uh, sine squared of theta equals one half times one minus cosine sine. Oh no, it's this. Yeah, sine squared of theta one minus cosine two theta. So the sine squared of 2 theta will be 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 4 theta d theta, or t. And from there, I think you can figure it out. Uh, it's just uh, an integral and uh, you can get the calculator to do it for you if you want. So that would get the root mean square for a periodic function. You just have to do it over one period.